Roti also known as chapati is a round flatbread native to the Indian subcontinent made from stone ground wholemeal flour, traditionally known as atta, and water that is combined into a dough. Roti is consumed in India, Pakistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Singapore, Maldives, Malaysia and Bangladesh. It is also consumed in parts of Africa, Fiji, Mauritius and the Caribbean, particularly in Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, St. Lucia, Guyana and Suriname. Its defining characteristic is that it is unleavened. South Asian naan bread, by contrast, is a yeast leavened bread, as is kulcha. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word roti is derived from the Sanskrit word rotika, rotika meaning bread. Names in other languages are Hindi, Roti Assamese, Rauti Nepali, Roti Bengali, Ruti Sinhalese, Gujarati, Rotali Marathi, Poli Odia, Ruti Malayalam, Riyati Kannada, Rati Telugu, Rati Tamil, Rati Urdu, Riwe Divehi, Rosi Punjabi, Roti Fulaka Thai. It is also known as Mani in Sindhi, Ruti in Bengali, and Fulka in Punjabi and Saraiki. Variants Topic Indian subcontinent Many variations of flatbreads are found in many cultures across the globe from the Indian subcontinent to Africa to Oceania to the Malay Peninsula to the Americas The traditional flatbread from the Indian subcontinent is known as roti it is normally eaten with cooked vegetables or curries, it can be called a carrier for them. It is made most often from wheat flour, cooked on a flat or slightly concave iron griddle called a tawa. Like breads around the world, roti is a staple accompaniment to other foods. In Iran, the two variants of this bread are called kabuz and lavash. These two breads the former of which is almost exactly prepared like Indian roti are quite similar to other rotis. Sri Lanka In Sri Lanka, probably the most popular type of roti is pole roti, coconut roti made of wheat flour, karakan flour, or a mixture of both, and scraped coconut. Sometimes, chopped green chilies and onion are added to the mixture before cooking. These are usually thicker and harder than other roti types. They are usually eaten with curries, or some types of sambal or lunu miris and considered a main meal rather than a supplement. Another variety of roti popular in Sri Lanka is kotu roti, which is made up of paratha or gadamba roti, these are cut into small pieces, small in size and rectangular or square in shape. Then on a square heating pan, vegetables and onions are fried. Eggs, cooked meat, or fish are added to fried vegetables and heated for a few minutes. Finally, the pieces of cut paratha are added. All these ingredients are mixed using two square pieces of steel. A peculiar sound is deliberately made while the mixing is done. The first person to make kotu roti is said to have made this noise to attract patrons to make them aware of the new delicacy. Depending upon what ingredients are used, the variations are vegetable, egg, chicken, beef, mutton, and fish kotu roti. It is sometimes prepared and served as a fast food dish. Gadamba roti is another variety found in Sri Lanka. Plain gadamba roti is eaten with curry or it can also be wrapped around a savory filling. Southeast Asia In Indonesia and Malaysia, the term encompasses all forms of bread, including Western-style bread, as well as the traditional Indian breads. In Thailand, roti refers to the maida paratha—known in Indonesia as roti mariam, roti kane, or roti khand, in Malaysia as roti kanai, and in Singapore as roti prata. Caribbean Roti is eaten widely across the Caribbean, especially in countries with large Indo-Caribbean populations such as Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, Guyana, Suriname, and Jamaica. Originally brought to the islands by indentured laborers from the Indian subcontinent, roti has become a popular staple in the culturally rich cuisines of these countries. In the Caribbean, roti is commonly eaten as an accompaniment to various curries and stews. The traditional way of eating roti is to break the roti by hand, using it to sop up sauce and pieces of meat from the curry. 
However, in the Caribbean, the term roti may refer to both the flatbread roti itself and the more popular street food item, in which the roti is folded around a savory filling in the form of a wrap. The roti wrap is the commercialization of roti and curry together as a fast food or street food item in the Caribbean. This wrap form of roti originated in southern Trinidad. It was first created in the mid-1940s by Sakina Karamath, who later founded Hummingbird Roti Shop in San Fernando, Trinidad and Tobago. The wrap was convenient, as the meal could be eaten faster and while on the go, as well as keeping one's hands from getting dirty. In Trinidad and Tobago, various wrapped roti are served, including chicken, conch, goat, beef, and shrimp. Vegetables can also be added including potato, pumpkin, and spinach as well as a variety of local condiments, with pepper sauce, hot sauce and mango chutney being the most popular. The roti wrap quickly gained popularity across the island and spread throughout the rest of the Caribbean. Roti shops are now abundant in Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Suriname, Jamaica, the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, and the Netherlands, and the wrapped roti is staple street food. The wrap is now simply referred to as a roti or just roti. As Indo-Caribbeans moved to North American cities such as Toronto, New York City, Miami, Los Angeles, and Montreal, they exported with them the wrapped version of roti. This iconic version is what most North Americans know as roti. The growth in popularity has recently led to referring to the flatbread itself roti that surrounds the filling as a «roti skin» or «roti shell», a practice that is now common in both restaurants and commercial companies. Various types of roti are eaten throughout the West Indies. They are most prominently featured in the diets of people in Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Jamaica, and Suriname. Caribbean-style roti is primarily made from wheat flour, baking powder, salt, and water, and cooked on a tawa. Certain rotis are also made with ghee or butter. <laughs> Guyana Dotsi roti is common in Guyana. A small amount of fat is placed in each piece of dough before it is rolled out to make the roti softer. Usually, vegetable oil is used, but butter, or margarine can also be used. Ghee is not used in everyday cooking, but is used on special occasions, especially amongst Hindus. The roti is usually clapped by hand or beaten a bit, hot off the tava, so it softens but does not break. A good roti in Guyana is very soft, with layers almost like pastry layers if possible, which remains whole. The type of roti is determined by what is placed in the dough before it is rolled out. Various types include dalpuri, aloo, potato, roti, and even sugar, to keep the kids busy, while the mother finishes cooking. In Guyana, a rolled-out, thin, flat dough like a roti that is deep-fried in ghee is called a puri, and is only made for Hindu religious gatherings. Therefore, a dalpuri is not really a puri, as a puri and a roti are two different things. Another item prepared like roti is bake or bakes or floats. A Guyanese or Trinidadian fry bake seems to be more similar to an Indian puri. A bake is made with butter or margarine and has a different ratio of flour to fat. It is made much quicker than roti and is usually made in the mornings. Dough is rolled out and cut into shapes or rolled into small rounds. Guyanese bakes are fried, but bakes from other parts of the West Indies can be baked in an oven. Bakes are usually paired with a quick fry up for breakfast or dinner, stewed saltfish, or eggs. Western style, with onions, tomatoes, green peppers. Bakes are also made in other parts of the West Indies, including Trinidad, Barbados, and St. Vincent. In Trinidad and Tobago, a bacon shark is a popular street food sandwich in which fried shark is placed between two halves of a sliced bake with local condiments. Pepper sauce, shado beni, garlic sauce, tamarind, and mango chutney are most common, as well as lettuce, tomato, and cucumber for fillers. Suriname In Suriname, roti refers mainly to dalpuri or alu puri. It is most often eaten with curried chicken. As in Trinidad and the West Indies, roti can also refer to the stuffed roti wrap. This dish is usually eaten out of hand. Due to a mass emigration of Indian Surinamese in the 1970s, roti became a popular take-out dish in the Netherlands. It usually includes chicken curry, potatoes, a boiled egg, and various vegetables, most notably the kusanband or yardlong bean. Another variation includes shrimp and aubergine. 
The meat with gravy, potatoes, egg, and yardlong beans are served side by side on a plate, with the aloo puri folded in fours on top. South Africa Roti, pronounced Ruti in Durban, was initially introduced to South Africa by Indian migrants during the 19th century, and subsequently became incorporated into Durban cuisine. It is widely eaten by the Indian communities living in South Africa, and is either eaten as a flat bread or a wrap with locally made curries. See also <laughs> Notes <laughs>